my god. My god. So this is gonna be the informal guide to my impromptu weekend trip to Seattle. The first day we headed out to Pike's Market at like seven in the morning to shoot photos and sample different foods. So after a little bit of photography this morning, we are getting a couple snacks before we head over and surprise my friend. And we decided to stop at Three Girls Bakery. This is the first time, but there was a slight line, and I feel like if there's a line, that's a good sign. That's what I got drawn to. <laughs> it's so good. So they've got a menu on top of all of these pastries. Yeah, it's my grandmother's recipe. Which is your favorite pastry? You know, my my favorites are the cinnamon honey walnut arugula, the baraka, which you guys already got, and then the spinach and feta. Mmm. Okay. It's time to eat and try some delicious things. Jeff, what are you trying first? It's called a mashed potato something. Mashed potato and cheddar roll? Oh my god, it looks like potatoes in there. Mmm. It literally tastes like mashed potatoes. So why can't you have cookies for breakfast? The guy online said that you had to get a crinkle cookie, right? Mmm. They're so soft. Mm. Kind of like a brownie. They kind of taste like a brownie. They're really good. So, so for those of you that don't know, we are big chocolate peanut butter fans. Like, Reese Cups are a jam. Jeff got this double O. It looks like a Reese's Cup crammed in a peanut butter cookie. So it smells like as I just shove it up my nose. Take another bite because once it comes here, you're not getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It said once you hand it over, it's not coming back to you, so take another bite if you want it. <laughs> Matt, you want another one of those? That was my favorite thing. When we did our first loop, this line was only partially out to the side here. It's maybe been, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. We finally got all of our stuff from Poroshki Poroshki. Guys, there's a line. The Poroshki Poroshki line is as long, if not longer, than the Starbucks line, the original Starbucks. That should tell you something. Now we're washing our hands. I think that's the mushroom and potato. Yep. <laughs> Let me get in on that. For the record, Jeff didn't want this one. It's so soft. Look at that. It's so good. Here, yeah, and then I'll cut the it out. Cut that one. That's what I thought I had in my hand. Mm -hmm. this, I think, right. is the beef and onion. Next up is beef and onion. This is an original. <laughs> Jeff, I feel like you just had a moment there. It's buttery and flaky. To give you guys an idea. I got For the record, it. these are both my <laughs> orders. And then I was told that we were supposed to get this salmon pate thing. Go for it, Jeffrey. And I'm not the biggest salmon fan, but like, I was told that you just, you have to have this. It's really good. Mm. It just makes you think a 
After this, we grabbed some flowers and headed out to surprise my friend and spend the morning with her. After this, we also headed up to the Space Needle to get you guys some more tips. All right, so some of the most things that you have to do in Seattle obviously include the Space Needle. We're gonna show you a little bit more clips of that here in a bit. But if you are looking to actually come and do the Space Needle, do the Glass Museum, I highly encourage that you use the City Pass. All of these places right here are included. To give you an idea, the Space Needle can be up to about $38 for a ticket. The Glass Museum runs at $34. So at $109 for the City Pass, you're getting a really good bang for your buck, plus access to a bunch of other attractions. And if you're a Grey's Anatomy fan and you happen to stop by the Space Needle, Como Plaza over here might look a little bit familiar. That's where they film a few scenes there, as well as the helipad up top is where almost all the helipad scenes are shot for Grey's Anatomy. Remember, Seattle has a variety of things to do besides the city pass. There's whale watching, kayaking, hiking. These are just a few things and you can frolic. I mean, why not? After this, we headed back down to the harbor area to get some seafood. Wow, good, quick seafood. And I was told the chowder here at Ivar's is something you have to try. And we did also get the fish to try too in the sample. So here's some of the, did you get the Cajun? This is the Cajun, I didn't do it. Alaskan cod. I didn't order these, but Jeff did. I got those instead of fries, we got shrimp. Um, instead of a side of fries, we got shrimp. <laughs> well, Jeff got shrimp. And then the, Clam chowder, which is supposed to be really good. I heard there's bacon in it. It's right here. So uh, let's see, Jeff, what do you want to try first? Clam chowder. Clam chowder? Okay. I have you set up on a tripod, guys, so bear with me. It's so weird eating soup when it's warm out, but whatever. Clam chowder. You guys, oh. this is so good. Mm. This is really good. Jeff, what do you think of the chowder? Jeff thinks it's good. He doesn't want to be on camera though. So if that's the case, I'm gonna ankle you guys this way. You can see my crazy hair. I'm opening a tartar sauce that partially exploded on the fish. <laughs> and we're gonna give some of this fish a try. Hopefully it doesn't burn my mouth, but. Mm. This is really good. It's not super greasy. Like I hate when I get fried fish and it's really greasy, but that is pretty good. I mean, and it just like falls apart too. It's really good. Yeah, I'd really recommend getting the Cajun seasoning. I know I didn't try the plain, but. There's just, it gives it that little je ne sais quoi. So, highly recommend Ivar's. Let's see what else we can find. After this, we headed to get some beer for Jeff at Seattle Beer Co. So Jeff has made it. So Jeff, you've made it to your first brewery, Seattle Brew Company. What are your thoughts on the varieties? Um, you won't like it, there's only one sour. <laughs> I asked your thoughts. Um, there's a bunch of IPA, so I'll let you know in a minute. Okay. So Jeff, so Jeff forced me to get in on the action with the sour. It's actually really good. I'd recommend it. I'd recommend people stopping here. What are your thoughts? It was good stuff. Jeffrey's liked everything he sipped, even though he doesn't want me to video it. Of course, we did not have enough to drink at this point. We checked out a couple other breweries. The waits were long, so we decided to shift gears and head to wine. Quick note about the confectional. We didn't record it, but get the cheesecake. I don't know. This is like really amazing. You've made it to the Truffle Queen, Jeffrey. How do you feel about being at the Truffle Queen? They have peach bellinis to go and wine tasting. This is that nice filler. 
So Jeff's already decided to take the Lumbersk home. Mmm, this is good. This is the Rosabella. It's not super sweet. It's like, I call it right in the middle. I know that's not the technical term. We're going to take a quick break and talk about lodging. I stayed at the W. If you want more lodging options, you need to check out that pre and post cruise Seattle guide. I have a variety in there. I enjoyed the W because it was a great location. It wasn't smack dab on top of tourist locations like Pike Place Market, but it was close enough to walk. The beds at the W were so comfortable. This was a King Mountain view. We loved it. After we hung out for a bit, we headed back to the market. We stopped at Beecher's the next day. The next day, we headed back to the market. We were meeting a friend to hit some other must-dos that we were told about, like Beecher's. Beecher's has some great cheese curds. They make their cheese right on site. They make great grilled cheese, great mac and cheese. And this is me sipping on some Rachel's ginger beer because we needed a table since Beecher's didn't have any. But I will recommend that guava ginger beer drink from Rachel's till I die. It's really amazing. I mean, look at the pull on this grilled cheese. That's how you know it's a good one. Mm. So this is Michael. He's got all the tea and he said we have to come here, right? $44 for everything. Perfect. You can get little shooters. I mean, mm. All right, so what are we shooting first here? Let's shoot the oysters. If you guys could only see what this is on. This is on a pole that's like a six inch diameter. Hopefully we don't lose it. Yeah, we don't even need the pork plate. Yeah, this would be just to take like a shot. I'm going to because that will end up in my boobs. <laughs> Here, Jeffrey, come on in. Michael, come on in. Cheers, Cheers. Oysters. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Michael. So good. Oh my god. And then next. Right here. Yeah. So You're good. Welcome. And they have crab ones too. And they have shrimp cocktail. And a giant shrimp cocktail. Jeffrey, can you open that? Open what? The bag. The bag. Yep. Alright, next. Famous. Seattle Dungeness Crab Cocktail. Famous Seattle Dungeness Crab Cocktail. Gonna squeeze a little lemon on that. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Jeffrey, mm. get on over here. Michael, you gotta show them your reaction. So good. Mm. Mm. We have a friend, a very dear friend. They'll probably watch this YouTube video. They wouldn't appreciate this. And it's very sad. He misses out on life a lot. We all have our cross to bear though. <laughs> so, Michael said, a lot of people tend to go to the place that throw the fish in here. I forget what it's called. But he said that the seafood is way better at this stand. And there's no line, there was like no line. Because everybody wants to go see the flying fish. Shrimp cocktail to go. Look at the size of these shrimp. All fresh from PNW, baby. That's a good amount of cocktail sauce. Did not skim. Okay. Get on over, boys. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, let's get it. They're so like big and juicy. <laughs> The way we like them. Mm -hmm. Girthy. <laughs> <laughs> gotta have them big and gotta have them juicy. After this, we went on a walk to France at the Four Seasons. You guys, if you love chocolate, you need to treat yourself here at France. The chocolate here is amazing. After we finished up at France, we headed over to Vaughn's 1000 Spirits for some cocktails and snacks. Look at this death shot. We're going to be talking about this death shot in just a moment, but do you see the smoke coming out of it? They're all individually bottled. We are preparing for the death shot. Except she's. <laughs> I don't know about this. 
We're low key afraid. I'm gonna take a little. Hold on. That's not the dash out. That's water. <laughs> I, was, I need to cleanse my palate from so, the chocolate. I was so confused. Like she's lying to her followers. Yeah, water <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a lie. All right. Okay. That's limit okay. one per customer. There's limit one per customer. Let's find out why. This is what's in it. It's not bad at all. I was expecting way worse. That's not bad. But this is what's in it. Um, and that's why there's a limit per one. The rest of the day we walked around, we did get some ice cream at Suge Soda Fountain, which was so cute. I highly recommend stopping here. We went to the mall, walked around, sat in some plazas and just chatted to catch up before I had to go to a party later this day. If you want a more comprehensive Seattle guide, please check out that pre and post cruise guide. There's lots of great recommendations. Mm -hmm.